accuracy. In this tutorial, we're going to go over an updated review of how to leverage the WordPress plugin to automate deployment of your schema markup. So we'll start in your WordPress admin. And the first thing you want to do is install or make sure that you have the schema app installed. So you can check it by looking for schema app structure data. Um, or if you don't have it, you can click on add new um, and search for schema app. Search in here, you can just type in schema app. And when it comes in, you can see ours is already installed, but you can just go ahead and install it here. Once schema app is installed, you're going to navigate down to settings, and under settings, there'll be a link for schema app. Click here. This is where you're going to enter some information to articulate who is the publisher of the blog um, and of the content and their logo, as well as enter what we call an account ID. The account ID is what connects the WordPress uh, plugin and your WordPress installation with the schema app editor. Um, so where do you find your account ID? Um, if you've gone ahead and registered for Schema App, um, if you haven't, you can go to www.schemaapp.com um, and right in the hero, uh, there's a link or a button to say register um, for a free trial. Uh, so you can go ahead and click right on that. Uh, you can see here in orange, start a free trial. When you click on that, it'll, it'll pop you up to, to go ahead and, and register for that free trial. Um, once you've registered, then you can go ahead and log into app.schemaapp.com. When you're at in app.schemaapp.com, uh, there's two things. If you are the actor um, or you're trying to set up your account ID for your business, uh, you'll go ahead and, and, and sort of do your main account ID. But if you're one of our page users and have set up sub-accounts for your customers, uh, you can go ahead and go to your sub-accounts link on the left-hand side here. Um, and you're going to select the sub-account for uh, the customer that you are connecting the WordPress blog for. Um, so in this case, uh, we'd be connecting for Van Burkle Elevators. Um, and so you take this account ID and you go ahead and paste that directly in the account ID. So again, it depends on uh, which WordPress instance you're in. Um, if it's for uh, uh, customer, then it would be a sub-account ID in here. Um, or if it's for you as the primary um, business owner, um, then it would be your account ID. Um, you'd also want to then make sure you fill out the publisher settings. So is it a person or an organization? The publisher's name, so in this example would be Van Burkle Elevators, um, and then a pu um, publisher logo. You will want to follow the instructions we have here to keep the logo no wider than 600 pixels and no taller than 60 pixels um, in order to not get some errors uh, from the Google Structured Data Tester. So once you have this, go ahead and click on Save Changes. And then what you're going to want to do is, is go to the editor and, and actually build something. So um, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to be acting under Van Burkle Elevators, um, our sub-account, and we're going to go to the Structured Data Editor. Uh, and we'll go ahead and create um, some markup. So we'll go ahead and uh, here, I think we'll, we'll maybe uh, select, um, we'll pretend we're doing sort of an about page. So we'll, we'll mark up a person, um, maybe the founder of Van Buckle Elevators. Um, so you're going to click on person there and then do create. Um, in the name here, uh, we'll call, we'll pretend I'm the, the founder of Van Buckle Elevators. Um, but then in the URI, what you're going to want to do here is put in the URL for the page um, that you want to send or mark the schema for. So Van Bechel Elevators um, about us. Um, and what you're going to want to do here is, is make sure, and this is going to need a HTTP, once you have this here, this is what WordPress is going to pull from in order to pull the markup. So you're going to click OK. Um, and as long as the Van Burkle Elevators WordPress instance has that account ID, it'll be able to pull that information. Um, so then what you're going to go ahead and do is, is put in that, that information about uh, who you're marking up. So we're going to put just Martha Van Burkle in here. Um, and this information for a person is what you want sort of put out onto the web um, about the person. Uh, so you can be thoughtful about um, what type of information you want to share. Alright, I'm just going to leave 
that sort of as the basics. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and click on Save Changes. Uh, and now that I've saved changes, what I can do is I don't have to do anything else uh, for the WordPress integration. Instead, I just go back to WordPress, um, the WordPress page, and then I could run it in the structured data um, tester, and I'll go ahead and, and see that markup um, exists there. So that's how you set up the WordPress plugin, um, as well as leverage the schema app editor to create markup without having to cut and paste.